Welcome to the screencast where we're going to take a look at using EasyBib along with Google Docs to create and organize your citations. Here I am in Google Drive. In Franklin we have added EasyBib as a tool that will appear under the More menu at the top of the screen. So if I go to More and I choose EasyBib, that will open and uh, take me to the EasyBib website. What I'm doing for this demo is we're pretending that I'm writing a technology paper for my computer class. So I've researched out some different articles or websites that I need to cite. Maybe I used a quote from here uh, or I referenced some information that was in this article in my paper. So I need to put this as a citation that is part of my paper. So I'm going to show how we can use EasyBib to do that. So EasyBib is its own website. We've set it up to work with Franklin Google accounts. So when EasyBib comes up, you should see your uh, Franklin Google account listed here on the top right. Before starting to use EasyBib, it's a good idea to go to the All Projects link here at the top, and you're going to create a project where that's going to keep all your citations for that project all together in one place. So I said I was working on a technology paper, so I'm going to click Create a New Project, and we'll say Technology Paper. Uh, we use MLA7 here in Franklin, so we'll leave that checked there, and I'm going to hit Create Project. So now projects will be listed here in the All Projects page. So I want to make my bibliography. So I'm going to go to Technology Paper and I'm going to click on the Bibliography link. And what this will show now is this is where I can bring in some websites, uh, some, some URLs, or I could type author names of a book or titles of a book, and this will help me create my citations. It's good to note when you're doing this, make sure you look at the top of the screen here, and it should say All Projects, and I'm working in the Technology Paper project. This will keep all citations grouped together in this project. So let's go back over here. So I'm at USA Today. This is a Google article uh, that I want to reference, uh, talking about some stock prices and such. So I've got the article up. I'm going to copy the URL. So I'm going to copy or highlight that, and I'm going to do Command-C or Control-C to copy. I'm going to go back over to EasyBib. And here is the area where I put the URL that I want to cite. Now before I put this in, it's good to know these little tabs here, if I was referencing something from a book, I would click on book. If I was referencing something from a newspaper, I would click on newspaper, uh, from a journal, from a database. The Franklin databases that all students have access to are over here on the right side, so you can use these as some great ways to find information, articles for your projects. There's also 59 other different types of things you can cite using EasyBib. So if you had to cite a photograph or if you had to cite a magazine article, those are all listed in here as well. I am particularly citing from a website, so I'm going to put my URL here, uh, making sure that I'm clicked on website. I'm going to click cite this. What this does now is it lets me work through this and fill in information that might not have been picked up. So if you see anything red, that is drawing your attention to something you might need to fix, change, modify, add. So let's go back over to the article here. So this article was written by, if I look at the byline here, Brett Molina. So I have to type in the author's name because for some reason that did not come up. Brett Molina. If you're not sure what to do with these red boxes or if something's red, there is the help off on the side. When you click help, it you know gives you a little tip on where to look for that information. Working down, uh, it looks like electronically published. I got to find the date here. So this was published on January 23rd, 2013. So I need to fill that in. So it says day 23, January 2013. What's nice is sometimes when you click on these boxes, it shows you the citation that's being created off on the side here. Data accessed. I'm accessing this on the same day. This was actually an article from today. And I click Create Citation. So here's what the citation looks like here in the center of the screen. It's also added under the project, so it's keeping this organized. Let's do one more. So I'm going to go back to this. This is a different website. This is an article I want to cite as well. So I copy the URL. Go back to EasyBib. Again, this is from a website. So I'm going to paste that in. Hit Cite This. And working down, looks like it did pull in the author. That's good. Website was The Daily Beast. This is Newsweek as the publisher, so that pulled in as well. It did pull in the date this time. December 13th is when that was published. Date access that I'm accessing this on is January 23rd. I hit Create Citation. So there, this, these are two citations that have been created all under the Technology Paper project. So I, can, I don't have to do this all at once. As you're building your project, you can have EasyBib open and keep adding to whatever project you're working in. If you accidentally make a mistake and you put a citation in a different project, you can checkbox these things and use this little menu here 
to copy them into another project. Uh, it's very easy to accidentally start a different project, but what you want to do is keep everything grouped together because once all said and done here, I can click Save as a Google Doc and it's going to take everything from that project and take it over to a Google Doc. When I click Save as a Google Doc, it asks for access to my Google account. I'm going to grant access. And now it's taking those citations and putting them into a Google Doc. So it says here, files successfully uploaded to Google Docs. I can go over to Google Docs, but I know I already have it open up here. So I'm in my drive. I click on last modified to see newest files at the top. Here's the EasyBib file that came in. Let's take a look at what it looks like. And here you go, works cited. Here is a citation for uh, one of the articles and here's a citation for the other. You'll probably want to rename this file to something that makes more sense to you, or you might want to copy and paste this into your paper that you're turning into your teacher. That's how you use EasyBib. It's a great way to organize your citations and, and also uh, create them as well. Thanks for watching.